tellyschool.com learn tally for free hi guys rishit sir from tellyschool.com once again today you are going to learn something about inventory vouchers yeah they are not very often used by most of the people but if you are having stock or some kind of manufacturing or say you are trading in stock markets or derivatives or anything that is related to stock then inventory vouchers is a must for you and it will help to spread the data and clear it when you need it i mean to say it will help to analyze and visualize the data of stocks purchase sales manufacturing processing etc in one simple screen so today you are going to learn if something gets processed there is something gets manufactured and processed into the finished goods let's say there is flour water and spices and you are processing them and you are making bread out of it so how the entry of the whole processing is made not as that like you debit raw materials and you credit the finished goods there is a simple tool in tally or we can say a simple option in tally called inventory vouchers here it is i have scrolled down or you can directly press the t that is a red t of inventory vouchers and directly come into inventory vouchers okay so we are into inventory vouchers screen so let's say i have i have bread i have to make bread so i will need flour water and spices for the sake of simplicity i am keeping three materials for consumption there is source you can see source consumption and one simple material bread at the end of the processing takes place so before that i before that i want to clear out that i want to clear out that i have created stock items for bread spices water flour you can see exactly how to create stock items on the blog link given in the description on the tele school blog you can find it and be below that you will find this video so i am directly just jumping into it or if you know it cool see the video ahead so let's say i have bread sorry this is the manufacturing space left side so you need to add the manufacturing materials so let's say you are adding in your factory or in your kitchen 50 kg of flour at 40 per kg then you add some water say 5 liters at 15 per liter and you add spices say 2 kg at 100 per kg so in reality many more items are added but for the sake of simplicity and for your understanding i am keeping things simple let's say three let's imagine that three of these raw materials go in and one raw material bread go out then what is the entry for that now i am doing the entry right now half entry is done there is a left space at the half entry and by adding this all three materials and processing it you will get a finished goods called bread so here is bread let's say you get 60 kg of bread out of it at the rate of 50 per kg so it's 3000 so your raw material is consumed 2275 and when you sell the bread you'll get 3000 as a good profit okay press enter and press and now it's narration narration you can enter any narration if you want like say it is abnormal loss you can add it you can write it here that this transaction contains abnormal loss or you can add anything that will entail you in future if you see the entry what it is about okay now go ahead press enter yes press enter okay it's done now you have passed the entry for manufacturing 
for any kind of manufacturing you can use this accounting vouchers so let's see where its effects are so in stock summary there is finished goods and raw materials uh, it's brad 60 kg is already in the stock because it's not sold and raw materials the remaining are in stock i have remaining yeah 50 kg from first we have we had 100 kg but i used 50 kg for the making of bread i had 5 kg of spices but only 2 kg were used and 50 liters of water and only 5 liters is used okay so if we dig in deeper if we go in here you will see the exact entry you get inwards 60 kg you get outwards closing balance 60 kg yeah so here exactly 60 kg inwards 60 kg quantity that's closing okay come okay, back you can also see the effect in the profit and loss account as closing balance is affected here it is okay finished goods go in here brad here opening stock is nothing but closing stock of finished goods is there sorry for that yeah closing stock we need to see closing stock after creation of the stock okay yes 3000 rupees and raw materials closing stock 2975 just ignore other entries so here is the profit and loss so today you have learned of passing any kind of manufacturing entries in tally now, not many people know this but this is called stock journal let me take have a look if you go directly into inventory vouchers on the left hand side top left hand side in the pink box it's written stock journal it's really a stock journal because you're transferring raw material that is also a stock of yours and processing it into the production of finished goods which is also the stock of yours so it's just called stock journal this was inventory vouchers you can make any amount of entries with this inventory vouchers if you are doing accounting of manufacturing you can easily do this uh, thanks for watching the video okay bye thank you please like us on facebook that is facebook.com slash tally school you can also subscribe the tally schools youtube channel that is youtube.com slash tally school and you can also give a plus a positive sign of truth or a positive sign of worth to us that is tally school google.com slash plus tally school now if you are more serious and if you want every tip trick technique in tally some of which are not shared ever on the blog and will be shared directly in the newsletter here is it you can join tally schools you newsletter it's free to join simply go to the website tallyschool.com and join the newsletter okay and lastly don't forget to hit the big subscribe button down there on the youtube for video updates directly to your inbox hit the big subscribe button now